Before installing your print drivers, let's make sure accounting is enabled and set up on your device. Let's open Print Anyway, then select Devices, and pick one of your devices. Here you will see I have accounting enabled, but more importantly, I have User ID in the authentication box chosen. By default, username is selected, but if you choose User ID, both User ID and usernames will work. Hit OK to save. Now let's switch to an Apple and install the print driver. Open your web browser and we will go to Xerox.com. Choose Customer Support, then All Support and Drivers. Now type in your Xerox device's model number in the search bar. The first link shows our model, drivers, and downloads, so let's choose it. Under Drivers, we see the macOS Common Driver Installer. Let's select it. Scroll down and choose Accept. Safari will ask if it's okay to download this program. Please allow. Let's open your Downloads folder and select the driver we just downloaded to run. I'm going to close my browser as it's no longer needed. Double click the Xerox Drivers file. Let's choose Continue, then Continue. Continue again. Now let's choose Agree and Install. Please put in your macOS password and choose Install Software. Here's kind of an awkward pop-up, so I'm going to choose the Xerox driver installer, select continue, close, and then move to trash to delete. Now that our drivers are installed, let's add the printer to our system. Choose the plus sign and select add printer or scanner. Choose IP in the top of the window and add the Xerox device's IP address. Under protocol, change IPP to LPD. We do not need to add anything to Q in this instance, but this may not always be the case. Go down to Name and change this to whatever you want to label your Xerox device. In the drop-down called Use, make sure it says your device's model name and choose Add. I'm going to go ahead and open up a web page to do a test print. We are going to need to choose Show Details to enable accounting. Currently, it's showing the application of Safari in this test. Drop this menu down and choose Xerox Features. Now choose the Paper Output dropdown and select Advanced. Go down and select the Accounting button. I am unchecking both User ID and Account ID for this demo. You do not need to do this if you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and put in my user ID. Optionally, if you are using a PIN or a billing code, you will put those into the accounting ID box. Choose OK. Since we are here, if we want to disable the job ID or banner sheet, choose Print ID on Banner Page drop-down and change it to Disable Job ID. My resolution is rather low, so the print button is hidden behind the dock, so I apologize for adjusting it over. To save these settings so that you can simply enable the features we just set, go to the Presets drop-down and select Save Current Settings as Preset. Give this a name. I am saving as Accounting. Now when we choose Print, you will see the user ID or username with the optional PIN or billing code we set. If you need to change the billing code, just replace the code you need with the one you want to use. Now let's print again and recall the saved presets. Under the Presets drop-down, make sure your saved preset is chosen. Select Print and see our user ID or username is saved, and any PIN or billing code is there. If I need to change the PIN or billing code temporarily, I can simply change it here. The default will come back for the next print job.
To check the progress of my job, I can actually go to the Xerox's IP address and choose Jobs. I'm going to hit refresh to follow the progress as my device will start to print out my test jobs. And that is how to set up a Xerox print driver with PrintAnyway. Thank you for watching.